We want to welcome you to the first annual Conservation Congress. On behalf of the board of trustees, our staff, and the volunteers who make this district tremendous, welcome. And we hope you enjoy today. Um, just a couple of housekeeping items. The Wi-Fi login is conservation with a capital C. The password is capital C O N F zero two zero six one six. What you're going to notice is a lot of people believe they are connected. And when you go to your browser, you're going to be asked to log in. So make sure you take that step. If you have not downloaded the guidebook app, we do recommend that. You will have not only information about our speakers, the agenda, but also a map of the different breakout rooms, as well as the schedule. Val. <laughs> the login is conservation with a C. The password is a capital C O N F zero two zero six one six. We will verify that. We have that information also posted at the registration desk, and if you have problems, please let one of us know. To begin, we need to call the meeting of the McHenry County Conservation District Board of Trustees to order. Staff, will you call the roll? Here. Thank you, Ann. And if you would stand for the Pledge to the Allegiance. I pledge to the Allegiance and the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Dr. Bill Hollenstein was planning to be here with us. He is one of the founding fathers of the Conservation District. Unfortunately, he fell yesterday. However, we have him on video reciting our conservation ethic, so I'd like to turn it over to Bill. That is not Bill. <laughs> to foster a conservation ethic among McHenry County citizens, helping all of us, regardless of the basis for our interest in nature, to develop a greater awareness of our role in and responsibility for the total community of life. The total community of life. A conservation ethic asks us to assume a moral duty to become educated about conservation issues and then to act on that information. A conservation ethic is an attitude that recognizes the importance of preserving the natural heritage of the county's open space. We are hoping that Bill will be able to join us later today. Um, before we move on to our executive director, I do want to recognize the steering committee and staff members, if you would all stand. Um, these individuals, stand, um, have spent the last six to seven months planning this event, um, working to prepare and everything, and we could not have done it without this group. And we truly appreciate everyone's help. All of our volunteers here today, thank you. And I do want to recognize Representative Steve Anderson. <laughs> Representative Anderson will be joining us as an observer for part of today. And later this afternoon, we are expecting Senator Althoff also as an observer. With that, I want to turn it over to our executive director, Elizabeth Kessler. Thank you. 
Good morning. How is everyone? Good. I love the energy. Seeing everybody's smiling faces as you entered into the auditorium and today and to get up on a Saturday morning is awesome. The sunrise and Willie Woodstock, uh, the groundhog, did not see his shadow. So that means that spring is not too far away. On behalf of the residents of McHenry County, the humans, flora, and fauna, I would like to welcome you to McHenry County Conservation District's first Conservation Congress. Today is a historic day for McHenry County, and we are honored that so many groups and individuals have gathered this sixth day of February in 2016 to lend their voice in support of conservation. Technical difficulties. First, first out here. How do we get this to work? we go. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Paul. In 1908, President Theodore Roosevelt convened a, conservation, a conference of governors at the White House to discuss natural resources and their proper use. As part of his opening address, he said, quote, there can be no greater issue than that of conservation in this country. The conference was attended by industrialists, politicians, resource experts, and became a seminal event in the history of conservation. And one has to ask, why did President Roosevelt develop such a love for nature? Historians report that it was his personal connection to the natural world and the great outdoors as a child. As a young boy, Roosevelt had asthma and found taking hikes through the woods in New York's Long Island to be enlightening. It was a place of renewal for mind, body, and spirit. He was fascinated by nature and learned as much as he could that went on into his adult life. As president, he campaigned for the preservation of public lands and worked with advocates such as John Muir to protect the wide open spaces such as Yosemite, Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, among other scenic areas. He stated after one such experience, quote, lying out at night under those giant sequoias was like lying in a temple built by no hand of man, a temple grander than any human architect could by any possibility build, and I hope for the preservation of the groves of giant trees simply because it would be a shame if our civilization to let them disappear. Preservation and conservation was alive and well across the United States, and it's been told that our early settlers in McHenry County had similar stories about the prairies that would go on for miles, and how they were a beauty to behold and to be cherished. In 1971, a group of conscientious citizens in McHenry County had the foresight to place a referendum question on the ballot to create a conservation district. Almost five decades later, the citizens of McHenry County have entrusted the Board of Trustees and staff as guardians of these public lands. The district has happily accepted this role and has upheld its statutory mission of preserving open space, providing environmental programs and resources for outdoor recreational opportunities. From the early beginning of purchasing the district's first 50 acres in 1972 in Chemung to protecting more than 25,000 acres throughout the county, including woodlands, prairies, scenic vistas, thriving wetlands that are home to a diverse array of plants and animals, some of which are threatened and endangered. To today, the district is nationally recognized as a premier public agency for preserving and protecting and managing open space and outdoor recreational areas and is home to hundreds of plants and animal species, microorganisms, miles of hiking, biking and equestrian trails, fishing sites, campgrounds, picnic areas, picnic areas and the, the district is dedicated to leaving a natural and cultural legacy for future generations. McHenry County is distinctly different than the rest of our counties in the state of Illinois, and is one of the reasons why we are gathered here today. Our natural resources and their uniqueness provide an irreplaceable natural and cultural legacy that should be passed on to future generations in sound ecological health. These wide open spaces and places that matter, protected by the district, are rare treasures right outside your back door, 
and are as significant and unique as the national parks preserved by President Roosevelt. McHenry County's public lands are an invaluable asset that provide, that provide the public of all ages and abilities opportunities for conservation, hunting, fishing, hiking, birding, snowmobiling, bicycling, horseback riding, cross-country skiing, paddling, photography, wildlife viewing, farming, to name just a few. Our human health and viability is vitally dependent on the quality and the diversity of our public lands and the ecosystem services they provide. Whether you visit one of the district sites and conservation areas, participate in a program or special event, every resident in McHenry County benefits from the county's protected natural resources 365 days of the year. We are elated to bring together such a diverse assemblage of individuals of delegates to share their thoughts for conservation for the next 50 years. These past six months, the steering committee has given much thought and consideration into the selection of our topics, presenters, and the conversations you will be having in each of the congressional sessions. We could not be more pleased with the program that we've developed and that of the distinguished guests that will be rep representing the best and the brightest in McHenry County. Our hope is that you will leave today's Congress with the following three things in mind. An understanding that there is an urgency. McHenry County public lands are Public lands are at risk. The political, financial, social, and environmental threats abound. Our continued enjoyment of these public lands and our way of life in McHenry County requires a personal commitment of a shared voice by the district's many user groups and a commitment to speak for those that require our assistance and can't speak for themselves. We are asking for your continued help to keep McHenry County's public lands protected and preserved for current to future generations, as did those individuals that have been guardians of these treasured places for the past 50 years. Secondly, that a personal land ethic should be cultivated in all those that enjoy and utilize the wide open spaces, and that the continued wide use of these public lands will ensure their sustainability for the future generations, our children's children, and so forth. Personally. I want my children's children and their children to live among the monarch butterflies, the sandhill cranes, and the majestic oak trees, and not just hear about them as a legend, a myth, or make-believe. I believe we have an amazing opportunity to further enhance our collaborative partnerships to make McHenry County public lands accessible, safe, and available to humans, plants, and animals. And by working together, these types of activities and habitats can be sustained for everyone's enjoyment. And lastly, our human health is critically dependent upon our quality of life and the biodiversity of our region. The food we eat, the water we drink, and the sense of place for solitude, renewal, and physical activity. Our ability to get back to the land so that she can continue to provide the nourishment we need to sustain our quality of life is essential. We can't assume these natural resources will always be there unless we remain vigilant and take steps to protect them. In closing, Today is a celebration of our past and a recommitment to our future. We thank you for lending your voice and vision to protect McHenry County public lands. We very much appreciate and are inspired by your imagination, dedication, and the love of the land. Enjoy the day, make new friends, connect with old, and join us on the journey as we together plan for the next 50 years. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Marcy Picos, who will be your host for the day. Thank you. Thanks, Elizabeth. Good morning, everyone. It is certainly my honor to be among you to be able to take a look at the future and set a tone for a healthy McHenry County. My job today is first and foremost to set a big picture and then host you through the day, facilitating the process. Bana has already explained to you a little bit about the Green Book. I go on to tell you that your guidebook is in place in order that we can be green today and set the tone for it. Hopefully you brought your water glasses so that you're filling water and, and not carrying a lot of bottles around. In addition to that guidebook or inside that guidebook, you will find a survey. And it's recommended today that intermittently you fill out that survey so that it can be completed by the end of the day and you won't have to think about what was it that captured me. You'll get it right on target right on time. 
I have the joy of facilitating many groups in this county, and one of the things that I always do is start a day with guidelines. Guidelines are essential for helping us agree how we will show up together. And so today I invite you to think about three guidelines that will help us function more effectively as a group. The first one, and I trust you're all really clear on this, you're fully present here today. It means that if you backed out of the garage and ran over that Sears garbage can you just bought last week, it's gonna be okay, Sears is open tomorrow, you can manage it. The other thing we can all be thankful about is no snow to be shoveling, so your driveway was clear, you're ready, set, to go home and enjoy the evening after you have been a participant in this declaration for our future. The second thing I ask you to maintain is an open mind and an open heart. I'm confident everyone in this room has come with an open heart because we are setting a future tone. In addition, an open mind because you will hit, be in nine different breakdown, breakout, not breakdown fortunately, breakout environments where you'll have the opportunity to share with each other and listen to diverse perspectives on the same topics. And the third thing is respect. We have given you this opportunity to use your guidebook in your technology. We ask you if things spark you, go ahead and tweet it out. Let the world know what's going on here at McHenry County College for our McHenry County Conservation District. However, we also ask you to make sure that they're turned on stun or quiet so that you're not interrupting anyone else. So right now, I'm going to ask you to think about, can you agree to these three guidelines to be fully present, to have an open heart, open mind, and of course, respect each other in technology? Will you turn to your elbow partners right now?